Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another episode of Watch List Wednesday. So I know you guys probably have a couple of questions and I'm going to answer them. Don't you worry. Um, For one, it's not Wednesday. You'd be correct in that assumption. Um, Yesterday, I took some sleeping medication and uh, it worked really well. So I spent my entire Wednesday uh, sleeping on accident, but that's okay. Today, we're going to be watching Logan. And I know some of you guys are probably thinking, hey, Blake, you're watching this Wednesday series. Isn't this supposed to be movies you're watching for the first time? And hey, Blake, aren't you a diehard superhero fan? Or isn't like Marvel content like one of your main things that you like talking about and you're one of your favorite things ever? Yes, it is. And now you're probably thinking, hey, Blake, Logan is one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. You haven't seen that? I have a confession to make. Um, you guys know when people are binge watching a TV show and they're getting towards the end of it and they purposely like slow down the finale so that, you know, they have more time to like cope with the fact that something that they love and something that they hold so near and dear is ending. Um, that was kind of me with Logan for the longest time. I liked the X-Men movies. Um, I watched them, you know, years after they all came out and I was kind of like getting to a point where I was doing, you know, the full long rewatch and the binge series and uh, I was getting to some of the final ones like Logan and I was like... <sighs> Once I watch this, I need to admit that, you know, it's over. Like, the X-Men series is over. This is the last time Hugh Jackman's ever going to play this character. And it's pretty heartbreaking. And it's pretty, like, close. And I'm like, this feels like the most, like, final, final of all of the X Fox X-Men movies. I was really pushing off watching it. And uh, ev eventually became a thing that this, I never watched it. And uh, now that Deadpool and Wolverine is coming out, and I'm going to be literally watching it tomorrow, um, I figured I should probably watch Logan. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'm really excited. And uh, I will be right back with my immediate reaction and review. What, 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 what? Oh, it's Watch Liz Wednesday. I'll add it to the list. Oh, my God. Okay, that movie was incredible. Um, everybody who has said that that's one of the best superhero movies of all time, I 100% agree. That was pretty solid. Um, I'm not going to lie. I very much enjoyed this movie. I thought that this movie is fantastic. I think that the rated R uh, Wolverine fights are just incredible. It's so nice seeing Logan in a rated R movie. I think that that's one of the few downsides to him being in all of the X-Men content is uh, a lot of times the X-Men stuff, they were trying to make it, you know, PG-13. They're trying to make it something cool that teenagers can go and watch and enjoy. Um, and then like, it kind of like waters down some of the action sequences. He has some really cool action sequences in some of the first movies. Like I think X2, he has a really solid one in the woods. Um, and like, there's so many really interesting fight sequences in all the other X-Men movies. But in this one, we finally get to see the bloodshed. We get to see the gore. We get to see just how violent he is. And uh, it's absolutely incredible. Watching him literally behead some Somebody in this was fantastic and I just love all of those sequences of him just like slashing and slashing and destroying people and it's just so cool um overall the opening fight sequence is fantastic when he slowly stumbles out of that car and his claws are slow to get out but he still like massacres these three dudes absolutely fantastic he's so cool he's such a badass and um this movie is just overall so captivating I think that's something that I really like about this film is even though it is a superhero movie and you're going to it to see all the action fight sequences and all the really cool, you know, like, he has claws. Like, that's such a cool spectacle and stuff like that. Um, but it really does a good job of making the story just as captivating as the punchy, kicky, feely stuff, you know? Because on top of it being a superhero movie, this one is specifically a Western and it kind of feels like a road trip movie. And uh, it follows along with the old man Logan storyline from the comics pretty well. I do think it does a really good job of adapting the fact that, like, they need to go across the country and it's a really long drive and they have this really big journey ahead of them and they're going to be chased for a good portion of it and it's really good at establishing the stakes of this movie um i think that the uh inclusion of characters like caliban was fantastic i feel like um the heart-to-heart -heart moments that he has with wolverine and this is great he's very limited in screen time here but he makes a really big impact while he is in the movie um patrick stewart as charles xavier once again incredible and the entire storyline with him accidentally being the reason why a lot of the x-men are dead is fantastic and i love the fact that um logan just can't seem to let go of him I feel like it's such a very important thing for some characters to learn that they need to be able to let go and I feel like Logan is one of those characters who's always filled with so much burden he always feels like he has to lose everything and every time somebody gets close to him they end up dying or passing away and it's such a deep part of his character that it's literally enrooted in him with characters like Jean Grey dying in X2 with all of his love interests pretty much ever and all of the X-Men movies dying uh it's just really really hard for him to feel that connection and feel that love and be you know vulnerable with somebody else and uh it's something that I've always found very fascinating about the Wolverine character is he is somebody who you will always think of as being like a very isolated person but at the end of the day he really wants to be close to people he just can't for a lot of reasons for one he outlives a lot of the people that he's going to be close to and for two he just 
has been broken in the past so many different ways and he has this animal side of him that he doesn't want the other people to see and um it's just such an interesting duality that they're able to capture in this movie i feel like uh he's very rugged in this film and i think that that's fantastic i think hugh jackman plays him incredibly well and i also think hugh jackman playing x24 in this is so good i love when an actor is able to play two different characters in the same movie and have them literally go like face to face and you be able to feel just the different energies from these two different characters x24 being a clone and a, a weapon that is literally he is kind of like the iron giant but minus all the sympathy and all of the uh things that make the iron giant the iron giant that was a terrible comparison actually ignore that but um x24 is just you know a weapon of mass destruction he's just a clone he's just like a mindless robot and uh he's so destructive he's so strong he's so powerful his presence and just the way that Hugh Jackman plays him he just feels like a force of nature which is incredible and I love that and then uh in this film Logan is able to have so much different moments with vulnerability the scene where he has kind of like an emotional breakdown after burying Patrick Xavier um it's I said Patrick Xavier I really I just said the actor's first name and then the character's first name um Patrick Stortz Xavier why am I blinking on Xavier's name Professor Professor X there we go um but what's it called just the scene after you know burying him and having that little funeral moment with Laura um him just going to the car and beating up the truck because he has so much frustration and he's never really learned how to let go of his frustration that was a really satisfying moment um I love the fact that um X-23 took him to the hospital and uh the entire scene where they get back into the car and Logan finds out that she can speak is so well done. Daphne Keene, I don't know how old she had to have been in this movie. She's 19 right now. This movie came out in 2017. Quick math, three, four, seven. Okay, she had to be 12 or something like that. And this film probably was filming, you know, a year before. So she probably was 11 years old filming this movie. And her acting in this is just absolutely incredible. Her um, emotional range is fantastic. Her anger feels incredible her um frustration you can tell it's there and from a child actress insane insane performance it's incredibly well done the scene of her crying after logan you know passes away is so good and um there's just so many great heartwarming moments in here um i really appreciate the fact that in the woods they gave uh logan that like whatever the green little potion that he was had so that we could watch one last epic action fight sequence with him going out and just wiping out a bunch of people that was really cool um a lot of the young new mutants in this um had really cool power-ups and we got to see glimpses of them and i really liked the the ice man kind of character and the character who was like messing around with nature and stuff like that a lot of really cool action set pieces that happen in that little woods sequence and i really enjoy that and uh once again i think that the x-men just absolutely nail the villains here i think that that's absolutely one of the strong points here um i don't know the name of the actor who plays the main uh like metal hand guy i realized at the end of the movie that they all had metal hands but uh just that guy who was chasing them the entire time he has this like charisma to him and he has this uh like i don't even know because i kind of want to say like swagger but i feel like that's just like a wrong way to say it but he's just like such a cool character and he's somebody who just seems so chill and fly and then he's just obviously like an evil dude who's so terrible and toxic and manipulative and uh, I just really, really liked his energy that he had on screen. I think that all of the villains in this movie were incredibly solid. I think that um, all of the action sequences and set pieces in here were fantastic. And the entire story with uh, Wolverine's adamantium slowly killing him is portrayed so well here. And um, it's really interesting seeing the Wolverine, who, you know, is so used to being able to take so many bullets and not having any of them affect him, feel pain and get to a point where, like, he can't take it anymore it's just so interesting and when he finally dies just that final moment and that final line of dialogue that he gives Hugh Jackman puts his whole heart and soul into it and you just see like that flicker of wonder and that flicker of hope in his eyes and it's just it's a beautiful beautiful scene and overall I love this movie I'm really mad at myself for putting it off for so long it was incredible I really really enjoyed it and uh I I really liked it I'm not gonna lie when I have to rank all of the X-Men movies later because I'm planning on uh when Deadpool and Wolverine comes out making a video ranking all the X-Men movies ever and uh this one's gonna be at the top of that list it's a pretty damn good movie it was everything I wanted it to be and more James Mangold once again delivers an incredibly directed film and I absolutely love that but um yeah overall really enjoyed this movie thank you guys so much for coming by and checking it out um I don't know if I do do I do 
number ratings on these i feel like i do and if i do um this one's a solid like 96 out of 100 there's a lot of parts of it that i really really like i do wish they could have dove deeper into some of the like mythology behind like who's the person who's writing the comments and stuff like that and you know this safe haven that they're going to in canada like does it actually exist um but that being said this wasn't laura's movie it was logan's movie and uh they followed his journey perfectly here and i really enjoyed it but yeah that being said that was it for this video guys thank you guys so much for coming by and checking it out i love and appreciate you guys so much for watching and if you liked it feel free to like and subscribe and stay tuned tomorrow i'm gonna be posting a fun video um uh, before i watch deadpool and wolverine with all of my final predictions and stuff like that and then my review for deadpool and wolverine should be coming out the day after that but that being said that's it for this video guys and i will hopefully see you guys in the next one peace out pow pow pow